The first Masters 1000 event on the WTA is coming out, and it has come out. The Dubai Championships, huge event on the WTA. A lot of players are playing from the top 10 and from the top 20, but there's a couple of names that are not playing as well, so let's go to the withdrawal list when we start. So here is the withdrawal list. Only two players out of the event, Ons Jabur and Annette Contivate, both pulling out of the event. Uh, Jabur got surgery, so she pulled out, and Contivate, I think, also got injured. So two names that will not be playing in the event this year. Okay, here it is. The draw for Dubai. Let's look at the top section of the draw here. You can see there, uh, buy for the uh, first round for the top eight seeds. They've got 16 seeds in this one. Fiontech, she gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that match will take Fernandez or a qualifier in the second round. So not an easy start there. Then you've got Zhang versus Song. Winner of that match will take on either Bedosa or the 14th seed Samsonova. Now remember, Samsonova and Zhang both in form. So that's going to be a tough road there for Sviantec if she has to play one of those. Then you've got number 10 seed Kudamatova taking on Kalanina. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or Cornet in the second round. Then you've got Pliskova versus Von Drusova. Winner of that will play the number 6 seed Zachary in the second round. So possible third round matchups between Sviantec Samsonova or maybe Sviantec Zhang. And then possible quarterfinal matchups for Sviantec either Kudamatova, who she just beat the other day, Zachary possibly in the quarterfinals as well. So pretty tricky road uh, for Sviantec, especially early on in this event. Second section of the draw now, you've got the number four seed Garcia. She gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that, uh, she'll play the winner of either a qualifier or keys in the second round. Then you've got Anisimova taking on Zvonareva. Winner of that match will take on either Pavlyuchenkova on the number 15 seed as a ranker in the second round. Then you've got the number nine seed Rabakina taking on Andrescu, which is probably the biggest first round match of the tournament. It's the most stacked first round match. Uh, champ versus Champ, both have a slam to their name. Uh, winner of that match will take on either Kennen or Buzkova in the second round. Then you've got Sastovic taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on the number five seed Goff in the second round. So straight away you can see uh, potentially a third round matchup between Rabakina Goff. That'll be fun. Uh, Garcia could take Azarenka in the third round. And then the qu quarterfinals could be a, a, a bunch of different names. By seeding, you could get Garcia taking on Goff. Uh, you could get Azarenka versus Goff. Azarenka's been in good form. Or Rabakina versus Azarenka. If you're going by 2023 form. Or maybe even Rabakina versus Garcia. Uh, a lot of names there. It's a very stacked section. That's probably the hardest section of the draw. Uh, overall, with some of the biggest names. And they're all pretty, pretty much in form. All right, bottom section of the draw now. We've got the third section with Bencic, number eight seed, getting a bye in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Oz or Kostruk in the second round. Then you've got Mukova taking on Pera. Winner of that match takes on either Castillo or the number 11 seed, Haddad Meyer in the second round. Haddad Meyer's in some good form. Uh, then you've got Alexandrova, the number 16 seed, taking on Rogers. Winner of that match will take on a qualifier in the second round because there's two qualies going at it. Then you've got Kanepi taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on Pagula, the number three seed in the second round. This is probably the uh, the easiest part of the draw. Bencic, Pagula, both in really good form. And maybe Haddad Meyer. Everyone else is sort of not really doing that well this year. So uh, the big names should get through in this one. Potentially a third round between Bencic and Haddad Meyer. That's fun. And possibly a quarterfinal matchup between Pagula and Bencic. Maybe Pagula and Haddad Meyer, if you want to go a little bit different in that one. But uh, that seems to be one of the easier sections of this draw. And the bottom section of the draw, starting with the number seven seed, Kazakina. She gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that, uh, she'll play the winner of Bagu or Krajikova in the second round. Tough match up there in the second round if it's Krajikova for Kazakina. You've got Mardich taking on Putin Seba. Winner of that match takes on either Trevison or the 12th seed, Kvitova, in the second round. Then you've got Ostapenko, the defending champion and 13th seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Fruvitova or Collins, who are going at it in the first round. Very fun first round matchup there. Possible second round matchup between Collins and Ostapenko, which I think we saw a couple weeks ago. Then you've got Tykeman taking on Potapova. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Sabalenka, who's back for the first time since the Australian Open. Uh, so that's a very interesting section of the draw. Not the hardest section for the big names, but not easy. Uh, you know, you could be getting a Kazakina versus Kvitova third round. Ostapenko Sabalenka third round. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. And if you're going to go with the with the quarterfinals, potentially 
Uh, it's going to be by seedings, Kazakina versus Sabalenka, possibly Kvitova Sabalenka if you want to go uh, with someone who maybe is a little bit more reliable at this stage, uh, or maybe even Ostapenko Kvitova if you want to go a little bit more random uh, as well. So a stacked, stacked draw. Uh, like I said, it's almost, it is feel, it does feel like a mini slam, but that's what 1,000 events are supposed to feel like. They're supposed to be smaller versions of Grand Slam tennis. I'm going to be honest, I think Bencic has the best draw. She's in the best form as well. And Pagula, I think they've got the best section of the draw. You want to be in the bottom half, but let me know who's going to win this event. Is it going to be Sviantek? Is she going to keep her, her good form going as she's played well in Doha? Or is it going to be someone like, you know, Sabalenka, who's down the bottom with a little bit easier draw? I'm liking Bencic or Pagula, to be honest. I think they've got the best draw and they're also in form, so it works out well. And I think Sviantek has a very tough, not only section, but also half, top half of the draw. Also, Rabakina and Garcia and Zachary, all in that top half, so... I'm going to go with someone down the bottom half, and I'm probably going to go with Pagula or Bencic. But let me know down in the comments below. If you're watching this later, who's going to win Dubai?